Hi guys, welcome back. Let's do Lions ratings and third test selection. Obviously a must win for both sides, the decider. The Lions surely are going to make some changes. I'm certainly going to make some changes in my team. I'm probably going to make a few more left field changes than Gatlin will make because, you know, his job is just to win rugby matches. They always say, you know, rugby players and coaches have a duty to be entertaining. Well, they don't, unfortunately. They have a duty to win games. I think I would change the style as well a little bit. They went 80 minutes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the South Africa and lost very heavily on the scoreboard. Let's be frank, in that second half, I think it was 21-0 in the second half, I don't think they can just do the same where they have no variation in their attack and they just put up the high ball and that is it. So they're going to have to play a bit. It's just how much and how they do it. Anyway, let's get into this, this team that I would select. Love to know what you guys would go with because it's such a tricky selection. So first of all, let's talk about the front row. Mako had a decent game, you know, so-so in the scrum, probably even, maybe, probably lost it a little bit, but not too bad. Pretty effective in the carry in the first half. I mean, let's just put it, you know, now that all the players suffered in that second half, uh, you know, fairly equally, no one stood out. Mako, okay. Uh, Cowan Dickey, I thought he bounced back well from the first test. A line-out problems, line-out was looking really good. And actually, I think he was their best carrier in the tight. Very muscular, bumping players off. Um, actually thought he had a pretty solid game. Obviously, like I said, second half, everyone suffered. Similar with Furlong, there was one notable error in the scrum, maybe a slip. Solid, nothing spectacular, maybe expect a little bit more from him. Was bumping guys off in the tight a bit. Subs, not a great day for the subs at all, to be honest. Sutherland came on and his main contribution was two costly errors. Owens had no impact. Sinclair was okay but couldn't affect the game. So where would I go? Well, I'd go for Mako, Kaundicki and Furlong again. I just don't see any reason to change. I really hope Wynne Jones is fit because Sutherland's now struggled in two straight games. So I think he well, should come back in if he is fit. I think a change on the bench. I think George deserves a go. Owens has had a couple of cracks um, and Sinclair staying as back up to Furlong. So I think I'd go with that. So let's talk second row. Atoje, a lot of good plays, real pain in the line out. Phased out a bit in the second half as everyone did. Alan Wynne-Jones grafting hard. Not a lot else, but maybe that's what he's there for anyway. So just fighting away again. No highlights. Would I change anything? Well... Probably not. I mean, do you drop your captain for the final test? I'm not sure. Um, but I would bring Beard in on the bench, actually. And I would go for a 6-2 split. I think they're going to have to do that. There's not a huge amount of backs I want to get on the bench anyway. So I think they need to muscle up up front. And Beard deserves a shot. I mean, it would be a shame if someone like him didn't get a crack in a test match. So that's what I'd do. Back row-wise... Laws, really good first half, I thought. Good in the lineup, big carries, faded in the second. Curry, similar story to last match, really. Loads of activity, but a bit frantic. Doesn't have the impact yet. Um, Conan, again, very low error rate. Um, no highlights, low errors. Is that enough? Don't know. Burn, not enough time to make an impact. Uh, Falatau, nothing wrong either. Um, what would I go for? Well, this is what I'd go for. I'd go for Laws. I'd bring in Hamish Watson. He deserves a chance. Curry hasn't done enough to retain, I don't think. So let's give him a shot. Um, let's put Falatau in. Conan, like I said, done nothing wrong. But I think he's had two games now. Let's give Falatau a shot. I do want to see the Lions use him wider. Uh, actually, the best team playing wide in that first half were, were South Africa, actually. When they got Peter Steph to toy out wide, in with the wingers, it was really good. The Lions, I think, need to do similar. If the Lions go wide early just with the backs, we've seen in the first and second test they get smashed. So if they go wide, I think they really should spread the pod out, get some uh, forwards in the back line out there, try and cause some continue, get some continuity in and around the ruck in midfield first before they go wide. But I think Falatau, it's his time. Um, on the bench, staying with Burns, still hasn't had enough time to make a big impact. Hopefully he will in the third test. Conan's had a good shot, I think. Let's see Simmons. We might as well roll the dice. Real impact off the bench. We didn't get any impact off the bench last match. 
So really loading up on the back rows there. Okay, scrum half. Murray did fairly well, kicked fairly well, fairly slow. The tempo really slowed down as the whole team slowed down. Price couldn't turn the tide. Where do we go? Well, I'm going a bit radical. I'm going to put Gareth Davis in just, just because really it's not be, it's been okay from the scrum half, but not great. We knew scrum half and fly half were relatively weak areas. I think let's go for it. Get the pace on of Gareth Davis if we're going to play slightly differently. Let's get him on. Out of the two, Price or Murray. I think Murray probably edges it, certainly in the, the second test. So that's where I'd go with that. Um, and you can see there as well, I've gone for Russell and Smith in the third test. So big calls there. Bigger was okay. He was fine. Good kicking. Fade in the second half. Farrell, as you know, is a good kicker. I just find him so slow, it's hard to watch. So I can't pick him. Bigger's, I think, had two games. So let's go for it. Let's mix it up. I want to be entertained, even though I know it's not Gatlin's priority and this isn't going to happen. So let's see Gareth Davis with Russell and then Murray and Smith to come on. It will just get me excited about the game and at least we'll be giving it a crack. I think the worst thing uh, we could do is do the same again and lose and really not had fired a shot. Everything we practiced in the warm-up matches, you know, if we don't use any of it, it would be a crying shame. So anyway, I'm going for it. I'm sure Gatlin will be a bit more sensible than me. Into the centres, Henshaw-Harris. Both decent games, to be fair. Henshaw could have been awarded a try, I think, on a different day. It was close. Um, in the third test, what would I go for? You could bring Iaki. That is an option. But actually, I'd probably just stick with them. Actually, I think I'd stick with them. I don't think you can play daily there. I think they're both good players. They didn't do anything particularly wrong. If they get better ball, I think it could be okay. Again, midfield, scrum half, fly half, midfield, we knew was a slight weakness for the Lions. And it's proving a little bit to be. We really, really just don't have the trump card there, to be honest. Anyway, finish on the back three. This is where big changes are going to happen. It was about as bad a game for a back three as you can get, albeit all they had to do was catch high balls and chase high balls. No, not a great advert for being a back three player, pretty dispiriting, but they didn't do it very well. Van der Merver, Merver was completely oversiked out. Um, you know, his trip on Colby was ridiculous. His high ball display was poor. It's about as bad a game as he will ever play, unfortunately. Watson didn't really get to touch the ball much. The only involvement was really dropping high balls. Hogg had a couple of good touches, tried to get it going in attack, but couldn't get anywhere. And at times, it was trampoline hands from the high ball. So the whole back three goes for me. Bring in a new one. Adams, now's his time. He might have been on the naughty step, actually, as well, which is why he didn't play. Um, Resam it. Give him a go. Why not? We know what talent he's got. And let's get Williams in there. He'll get a lot of high balls, but he probably is our best high ball guy. So that's my team. It's a little bit out there in the back line. I just want to go for it a bit more. Not fling it wide straight away, but certainly play a bit more rugby. Have a bit more to our uh, attacking plays, our set plays. Not just whack up the high ball. Obviously, we're going to have to be good in the scrum, good in the line out again, have a good kicking game. But we need a bit more to our game if we're going to beat South Africa. And I think fresh legs, energy will help because these players have played a lot of rugby. The guys who have played in the first two tests, let's freshen it up. Will Gatlin go as extreme as me? Probably not. But what would you guys do? I'd love to know. Put it in the comments and I will catch you next time.